WJ live on Facebook and on YouTube now because we have a special breakfast chat this morning. You know, I love my breakfast chats. And our guest today is Fred Whitlow. Hello. Hey, what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness. Everything is happening. All, day, every all day. good, though. All, all good. good. All so, God. listen, Fred Whitlow, if you don't know, he is um, the founder of No More Dirty. Uh, incorporated yeah. so and you you always have different events in the city that uh, throughout the year you have different things that are going on and uh, so first of all let's tell our our listening audience and our viewing audience what no more dirty is about and actually let's start from the beginning because okay. we okay. got a few minutes with you tell us okay. how it started and then we're going to talk about what you do so so it really started um uh, about almost 11 years ago um, I was in New Orleans, you know, living there at the time, and I worked at the juvenile um, prison as a chaplain in developing curriculum. And so I did it with through hip hop and education. And then, uh, so, you know, in New Orleans, everybody's riding dirty. Yeah. Uh -oh. So I flipped it. <laughs> so my curriculum was no more dirty. Right, right, and right. And so, you know, you had all the majors, 504, Master P, Juvie, all of those guys, and it was on their on our top. Yeah. And so we would ride in. I had a car, and it was with a, with a, a Jesus on it with locks, you know. We ride in <laughs> yes, mezzanine projects and all that <laughs> stuff. And we give we tossing CDs like they tell tossing dope, right? Right. Oh, my goodness. So, so I'm working during the day at mm -hmm. the juvenile prison in mm -hmm. Bridge City. Mm -hmm. And then um, so I go in there. I rap one Sunday, and the and the warden was like, "Dude, we want to hire you. Our kids ain't never stood still in a service on Sunday wow, morning." Wow! Wow! They wow. hired me even though I was touring. Okay. So I worked there full time, and I created this no more dirty concept. So everything yeah. was clean content, mm -hmm. and we attached it to curriculum development. Yes. yes. Wow. Because they had to go to school even though they were locked up. Right. And so that's how it started <laughs> as a hook. Yes, you I know, love it. I love and it. then um, of course Katrina happened, mm -hmm. uh, but it really helped the kids get into the math, English, reading, literacy because they had to write rhymes based upon curriculum. Wow! So wow. now they might have hated math. Mm -hmm. Now they they doing had one one two beats, but you have to know half notes, you have to know quarter notes, you have to know fractions. Mm -hmm. Now see, now I got you, I got yeah. you, I yeah. got you, son, I yeah. got you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And so a cat that you know would not ordinarily mm -hmm. at nine years old to juvenile life at the time was 18, mm -hmm. they're now getting A's and B's in lockup. Wow. So they're wow. feeling good and they're seeing that, you know, education is cool and then it can still be them. Wow. And wow. so that's how it happened. So when I came here after Hurricane Katrina, having lost everything, I had to go through the same things that mm -hmm. everybody else had to do. Right. In fact, I was in public housing mm -hmm. and now I work for public housing. Wow. And so I created this curriculum to be able to reach kids and families and with the greatest needs. Mm, wow. So we do it through education, entertainment, mm -hmm. exposure, mm -hmm. and then unique curriculum development, urban and postmodern. It's not your traditional stuff. Right, it's not traditional. You know what I mean? it's, it's different and it's it's like you are meeting the people and the and the youth where they are right. and providing them some kind of assistance that's going to help them, you know, overcome yeah. their challenges right. and in a creative productive. way. Yeah, become like transformative, productive citizens, even though they're in a tough situation or they have a past or they have a real tough history. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what? Jesus walked in town and just healed the whole city. It was like, I'm going to Mount Olive. Y'all mm -hmm. want to talk? Bet. Wow. And it was Saturday. You wow. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and so yeah. we just kind of do that back, we come behind the scenes yeah. and really empower people. Mm -hmm. And then that's a great way to be able to support and partner like we're doing here right, right. and partner with the city. So that's a good thing because it's entertainment, it's, it's clean, it's safe, mm -hmm. and people are coming out that you would not normally get a chance to be able to, you know, provide right. a resource. Right. So are you still, you're, you are, how long have you been here, here in Huntsville? Then? Okay. So how many years since, now? Since 06. So oh, wow. So I get, uh, 16. Man, that's 17 years, yo, <laughs> 16, 17, yeah, about 17 Eight years. Eight years. We have to count <laughs> on our <laughs> fingers, y'all. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We back in the building. We have to count on our fingers. <laughs> I need some of your uh, <laughs> tutoring on <laughs> Oh, oh man, goodness. you can do it in a rap, you know, kind of, anyway. Yeah. But, yeah, so you've been here now 18 years, and you've been doing these same types of services. And, and 
again, you're serving youth and adults yeah, and, and families and yeah, families. Yeah. Okay. Because when you get when you have that, we get that initial connection. Then they're like, Mom, Dad, Grandpa, Nanny. You know. Then all of a sudden, it's like you can. There, there's a real conversation, mm -hmm. and then you can find out what's going on, and then they're willing to share. Right. Well, Mr. Whitlow, Mr. Fair, uh, you, you, I need a job, man. Okay, bet. So let me connect you with so and so, and if you have a record, let me connect you with Anvo. Let mm -hmm. me connect you with uh, two one one. Let me connect you, and then they're like, Yo, man, I got a job, dude. Mm -hmm. So now. It's less likely that you're gonna be in them streets doing the wrong thing. Right, exactly. All right. So okay. part of part of your um your organization's, you know, activities, like you just said, is is doing things in a creative way and doing yeah, them yeah. differently, um, but also to enrich people's lives and Correct. do it. So you've got an event coming up on tomorrow night. Yeah. And <laughs> oh my goodness. So th and this is part of a series, right? Yes. So it it's is. not just a uh, one hit Correct. wonder. It's okay. Not. Tell tell us about this series. So that it's it's the uh, No More Dirty Clean Comedy Series, mm -hmm. a comedy for a cause. And the way it works is we create we we link up with national clean comedians mm -hmm. and artists. That's why you see all this stuff going on in, across the country. Yeah. And we bring them here uh, to empower people through entertainment, yeah. but give them the message that they can be better. You can turn that corner. You don't have to stay in that place. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, listen, we have done this thing. We did it last year, mm -hmm. and I had like about 10 guys that we call dope boys mm -hmm. mm. stop selling dope. Okay. They're now go from a dope boy to in school. I won't say where. Right, but right, they're right. They're actually getting their education. So okay. they're in accounting, mm. doing it in engineering, construction development. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me you can't change. Right. I like how you how you don't. You're not afraid to use this, the terminology from that world. No. Well, Talk that, about that's, dope that's and how, column. That, that's how you relate. Yeah. I like that. Culturally, you know, in community. I mean, you, you, don't, you don't go into a... Uh, country and you speak and they speak mm -hmm. uh, patois and then you speak and something they don't they're, right. they're gonna be like I hear you but that's not how we move yeah yeah so you know we move but in a very positive and respectful way okay so the series so you're gonna be doing how many series in a year so we usually do typically four clean mm -hmm. comedy series in a year every quarter that's right. usually how we do that. So let's talk about this one. Is this the first one for this year? So this year? is the first one for this year. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. We got a we got a guest you, you here got, too. Guess. So, we, so, so this one is featuring. Uh, and if you all know comedy, you follow comedy. National clean comedian uh, Double D. So if you, I'll call names. You just Bruce Bruce. I uh, will say, you know, Cat Williams. All of, but he's the clean guy. Yeah, he's the clean guy, man. <laughs> Sets the stage. So you know, he's like the guys. Come on, guys. Uh, guy, guys, guys, <laughs> guys. You know, and then, you know. So, but we're just trying to. Say, What'd you say? What'd you say? Okay, he's live. Okay, let me make sure people go <laughs> rushed over to Facebook and on YouTube because we've got Double D with us right now. What were you saying, Double D? Put the dope down. Put the dope down. Put the dope down. down. Put the dope down. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. Thank y'all for having me. Thank y'all for having me. As y'all as y'all can see, I'm in the locker room now. I'm, now. I'm getting ready to stay in shape, 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 and you gonna jog from where? Uh, from Atlanta. From Atlanta. So Atlanta. I so leave. Leave. You can easily leave. Right now. I gotta leave. Right after this, I get there. I get there. I gotta. You know what? You know what? If I drive, I can't drive. I can't talk. I can't talk. I can't talk. Back to Atlanta. <laughs> I, I, thank y'all for, for having me, having me. and and Mr. Fred, Mr. Fred. It's, it's amazing. And amazing. Good morning, good morning, both you guys, both you guys. So amazing, so amazing for for someone that, someone that you know your story, you know, your story is very, is very amazing, 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 and appealing, and appealing and because, and because of, of so unique, so unique. Because everybody, because everybody got their own flaws, they got their own skeletons. 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 But you to be able to touch it, you to like that, like that, they understand. They understand. No, no, you don't hide, no, hide from being through, been through. Cause I didn't know, I didn't know you, I didn't know you, I didn't know you, I didn't know that, I didn't know that, I didn't tell me that. I didn't. I ain't telling nobody. <laughs> I'm moving keys and black keys and white keys. I'm <laughs> I didn't know you. 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 All right, Double D. Um, tell us about some of some of the. Um, you've been on tour a little bit. Where you been, and and uh, what type of comedy do you offer, and what 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 kind of themes do you have in your t comedy? 
I got all type of things. I got all type of things. I like the words. I like the words. I like the you work. Type of thing, type of thing. But let me tell you what type of thing you like. Well, well, me, me, I'm just going to be authentic. I'm authentic. I mean, you can't buy authentic. I'm being, I'm selling me. I'm being who I am. I'm transparent. I'm transparent. I'm real. 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 I'm Slip and say what and say what. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> that's real. That's real, right? <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't use the penalty. Mm -hmm. I said, so, so I used to be around you. I used to be, I used to be, you, you, I used to be, I used to be uh, dirty, uh, comedian, dirty comedian. But but I, 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 I
juvenile justice or going, you know, in the community that are getting kicked out of school or different things like that. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a powerful curriculum, just helping them find their purpose and their uh, discovering their greatness so that they won't make those unwise choices. So, so it's going to, is it Camp Smart you're talking yes, about? Yes, we have Camp Smart okay. and then the Greatness Project and the least of these. Okay. So all those are our top three initiatives and programs. And you, of course, you can go to the website and check it out, yeah. but it's powerful. Yeah, so so the proceeds for this concert go to Camp Smart, the greatest yes. project, and what was the third one? Least of these. And those it, would have a path that are turning the corner, like yes. when I was sharing earlier. So you can definitely go to NMDINC to get more information about um, about that. Um, so so the Camp Smart is that something that's in the summer? When, yes, the okay. camp start happens during you know just during the summer and on the breaks, okay. and it's uh it is inner uh, disciplinary. Um, it's a full day camp, mm -hmm. um, 10, 12 kids max. Uh, we do STEM production, mm -hmm. we do media production and math, we do all the stuff that so and we follow the curriculum within the school system. Mm -hmm. uh, we also do rockets and robotics. Uh, we do creative writing mm -hmm. where they write a book within two weeks. They publish it and it's out there like they. You know, they become a published author mm -hmm. in between the ages of 9, 10, and 14, and wow. 15. Like, yeah. it's bananas. Wow. And then the Greatness Project is helps them become great, productive mm -hmm. yes. citizens. You know yes. what I mean? Yes, yes, Like, you know, a lot of, a lot of people just don't know. You Listen, know? you've been here 18 years. Do you have any, like, um, uh, like individuals that you can share that have really really like yeah a, a great example I, I don't want to say that the term that we use right like poster child okay yeah. but do you have anybody there that that you really celebrate for yeah. going through your program yeah there there's um there's a couple guy i'm gonna just say john mm -hmm. uh this guy um came out of lockup mm -hmm. three felons you name it now has his degree mm -hmm. i mean doing big things yeah i mean when I say turning the corner, helping yeah. me to go and reach other brothers right. like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, just amazing. And then there's a young lady who um, uh, graduated early, doing big things in the nursing program, was in the Camp Smart. Uh, one is at Alabama A&M, killing mm -hmm. it. She's doing things. She has now her own published catalog and it came out of the creative writing she's mm -hmm. brilliant mm -hmm. uh then there's another gentleman that's now doing production mm -hmm. um tv and media like at 17 years mm -hmm. old mm -hmm. started with me when you're like what 12. uh so to yeah. watch that yeah. and they're like mr whitlow I'm graduating with two, two degrees. Uh, listen, it took me a long time to get one degree. <laughs> These kids, they just, they're brilliant. Yeah. And if you yes. can harness that good, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And if you can help people see that, then their parents are excited. I mean, just super, super great. Mm -hmm. You know, just, man, I get, I get choked up because it's yeah. like, who would have thought, you know, just doing clean can lead to excellence mm -hmm. and employment you know, transformative life. Yes, yeah. I mean, like, you know, we say, you know, you know, kind words don't, you know, kind words really do work. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, spending quality time. Oh, man, you got a friend. Right, right. You know what absolutely, I mean? And then absolutely. the least of these is for the parents yes. and for those adults mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that just mm -hmm. got a pass. Okay, so what? Well, let's go. Right. Let's right. go. Wow. You know what I mean? Let's go. <laughs> well, my goodness. Well, we really appreciate what you're doing in the community and here in the Tennessee Valley. This this work that you're doing is so valuable and 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 really, really improving and helping people. So we appreciate that. Um, do you want to give away one ticket to yeah, the, let's, to let's the do, um, no, no, let's do, concert no, no, tomorrow no, no, no. since we, we know two. it's going to benefit this? Let's do two. Two. That's two, okay, let's do a VIP. Two. Okay, that's two V two tickets, and so, so you can come with somebody, okay. and then okay. um, a regular, okay. uh, and then so yeah, so, these, so two, you guess that's four tickets total. Four tickets yeah, total. So so we're gonna uh, you encourage you if you're on if you're on Facebook or <laughs> <laughs> somebody called somebody it already. Call it right if you're now. on Facebook or you're on uh, YouTube, I want you to it's comment ringing. and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> it's ringing. I'm I'm going to YouTube first though. Okay, I'm going to YouTube or Facebook. Tell me where Fred Whitlow moved here from. All right. All I need is the city, and you will get that one set of tickets. Okay. okay? Yeah. And if you are, and I'm gonna get it now. If uh, if you are the first caller, um, same. Well, same question. Same question. All right. 
So if you're first caller, and we we just missed one, so if you want to get it, you can call me back. <laughs> um, same question: Where did Fred Whitlow move from to Huntsville and start No More Dirty Incorporated right here? All you got to do is give me a call at two five. Here we go: yeah, two right five here. six <laughs> seven two two nine nine. I hate to pick it up because I'm on the I'm on live here. All right, so. Um, <coughs> So, Fred, while I'm doing this, yeah. why don't you go ahead and share some of the other activities sure. that, that you do through No More Dirty while I take this call. Gotcha. So the other things we have is uh, we do a, an annual an annual festival. And it's always the first um, <clears throat> Oh, man, you got me laughing. The first Sunday in October. So to be this year will be October the 6th, two days before my birthday. <laughs> so I'm excited about that. We had a star stellar uh, of, and you know, our mm -hmm. co-host last mm -hmm. year was the famous Donna, <laughs> and I'm hoping she'll do it again. When I say, yeah. So anyway, yeah. So we gonna have some comedians. We got all kind of stuff. We got some moon. Bound. Oh man, like it's huge. And mm -hmm. We partnered with the city. Yeah. Parks I and had Red. so much fun, oh, by the way. Woo. That was. I mean, I just got in my hip hop. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, she, was, she was busting. Her. <laughs> she was like. She was doing all kinds. I said, okay, then we can do that. You can rock with us. Four DJs on they the stage. They tried to get y'all tried to get me to do that. I was like, I can't do that. What was it? Freestyle? <laughs> freestyle the freestyle, freestyle at the end. That Yo. was so much fun. I was oh like, I gosh. can't think of nothing about it's not how my brain works, but yes. I got out there and I said something. Uh, you, but you saying you, you was over, you was kicking it right in the drops, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you got she was like Mary J. Bly, Jesus version. I said, Okay then, go ahead, sing girl. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and then in, and like so, but in doing the just before yeah. the kids get out, we yeah. do a youth and family okay. community fest, and so mm -hmm. we're looking to do that um, in Northwoods mm -hmm. public housing. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be huge citywide. Yeah. So yeah, just I mean, it's a lot of cool stuff. Yeah. And then we do um, local local um, uh, give back days, grocery yeah. boxes, oh, and wow. all that kind of stuff. Nice. And we partner with a lot of different agencies. So like, if you want to do some cool stuff. Get with Donna, get with me. Uh, just go to the website. We just I'm like we always doing something like for real, for real, for real. And even for the colleges, we're doing some cool stuff. All right, so we do have a winner for okay. the <laughs> social media site. Um, who will win two tickets? It's Lisa Crockett. Hey, Lisa, <laughs> she's gonna get two tickets, and we've got a caller coming in. But it's hard for me to it's hard for me to answer. I can't answer. So y'all gonna have to wait when I finish the interview. And the first person that calls me when I finish this interview we'll get those other two tickets and then I'll announce announce so Lisa you you're gonna need to call me so I can get your information as well right. um and they but can they actually can, we could just put their keep their names at the door right yeah they can All right, just come get that. into the door we got we'll that. Give you the address we got that that that's yep. good Lisa Crockett so we'll get your name cool. so you got two tickets and we're gonna get a caller once we finish this interview all right so go ahead and let's give them the final uh, again just I repeat the information for tomorrow night and um and then we're gonna get out of here so yeah. we can get this call <laughs> 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 so it's taking place tomorrow. The uh, actual start time is 6 p.m. We want to make sure we respect Sabbath and all that great stuff. Doors open at 5:30. Uh, it'll be at the. It will be at our community-based center called the Spot where lives transform, and that is that is on the North Parkway 5045 North Memorial Parkway, Suite B, mm -hmm. and that's Huntsville, Alabama 35810. So basically, just drive North Parkway. Cross over Winchester, you see, uh, you'll see a plaza on your left, and it's north the North Rim Center. Mm -hmm. You'll see the balloons, you see the yeah, stuff. Yeah. You can't miss it. You'll see cars. So right. it's just gonna be bananas. Uh, the telephone number is two five six seven zero one four four zero three, and then you can always get us on our, you know all the platforms. Mm -hmm. yeah. No more dirty ink. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we're just excited, you yes. know what I'm saying? Yes. So you know, we got a live DJ, got mm -hmm. an opening act. Mm -hmm. Oh man, mm. we got a food truck on deck. Oh, wow! Lord. And just remember that all the proceeds all go proceeds to NMDINC for the Camp Smart and the other initiatives that they have uh, right. for this nonprofit organization. All right, thank you, Fred, yeah. for being. <laughs> <me. laughs> <laughs> And you can support anyway. Just go to the site, even if you want to sponsor a kid or something. Oh, okay. Lisa's already supported, but you want the tickets. Let's see. Let's see. I've already reported, but okay. 
Oh, so they'll hook it up anyway. Right. We'll, we'll, that's she, okay. That's Donna's okay. gonna hook it up and All right, we got you. We got you. All right. So thank you so much for being uh, with us today and sharing about No More Dirty Incorporated. Just and a shout service out organization. to WJOU. Yes. Well, thank you shout so much. Shout out. Shout out. <laughs> y'all better make sure y'all lock and load. Make sure you follow them. You know what I mean? <laughs> Don't get it twisted. This is what we do. All day, er day. All every day. day, every day. <laughs> All right, listen, we're going to get back to some music right now. Uh, but first, we're going to hear from one of our business partners, and then we'll be getting, getting back to some music. And I'm going to get to these phones, okay? <laughs> Y'all, hold <laughs> on. <laughs>